Hello everyone, my name is Saurabh Gupta. Today I am presenting a paper titled Effectively Detecting Loop Closures Using Point Cloud Density Maps. Let us begin with an understanding of why a loop closure is important in a SLAM pipeline. We all know that LIDAR sensors are among the primary sensing modality for SLAM systems and LIDAR odometry forms the backbone of such a SLAM system. Despite all the progress made in ICP-based LIDAR odometry methods, they suffer from the issue of drifting pose estimates. Here we show a trajectory from the Mulran dataset of a long highway sequence and the corresponding LIDAR odometry estimates obtained from this ICP. As seen in blue, the LIDAR odometry estimates gradually drift over time and towards the end of the sequence this drift has a cumulative magnitude of about 3 km with respect to the ground truth trajectory. However, if we can detect revisited places or loop closures, which in this case corresponds to the beginning and the end of the sequence as seen from the ground truth, we can establish geometric pose constraints between the revisited locations. These loop closure constraints are useful to reduce the global drift through pose graph optimization. Despite the global drift, modern day LIDAR odometry estimates exhibit local consistency. Here we see another sequence from the Mulran dataset recorded in a city environment, looping over the same area multiple times. What is evident here, despite the increasing global misalignment, is local consistency. Even at places where the recording platform takes sharp turns or goes through a long curve, the local shape of the trajectory is captured convincingly by the odometry estimates. We leverage this local consistency of LIDAR odometry estimates to detect loop closures for SLAM. In particular, we generate local maps using registered point clouds within a fixed travel distance. An example of two such local maps belonging to the same physical location recorded at different timestamps can be seen here. These locally consistent maps form the primary representation for loop closure detection instead of the traditional single scan based representations. However, since such a dense hidden representation of the scene incurs high computational costs for place recognition, we furthermore compress these local maps into a compact 2D representation. To do so, we take the local map and project it onto a local 2D ground plane. For axis aligned ground vehicles, this transform simply corresponds to dropping away the z-coordinates of the points in the frame of the local map. Furthermore, we discretize these 2D plane and preserve the density of points which within each discretized pixel. This gives us the 2D bird's eye view density map as seen here which looks similar to a 2D floor pan. Here on, we can leverage techniques from image processing to describe each density map with local features. In particular, we use the simple ORB features to describe the scene. These features are highlighted as red points here. Since ORB features have a binary representation, we make use of a binary search tree based on the Hamming distance metric to create a database of the features associated with each local map. Such a database can be created online without any pre-training step. The Hamming distance can also be effectively computed for feature matching when querying for loop closures. Here we show an overview of our pipeline to detect loop closures. First, we generate a database of binary features associated with each local map. Then at a new query location, we again compute the binary features from the corresponding density map and match them against the previously recorded features from the database. We refine these matches so obtained using a 2D geometric alignment based on the Ransack outlier rejection scheme. This provides us with a 2D pose constraint between detected loop closures for pose graph optimization. One of the key impacts of such a local map based approach towards loop closure detection is when working with LIDARs having irregular scan patterns with limited field of view and density. Here we show a single scan from the Levox Avia LIDAR, which is not easily interpretable even for a human and is equally difficult to extract meaningful features for place recognition. However, when we generate a local map from the same scanner at the same location, we can observe the structure of the environment more clearly. This allows us to detect reliable features even from such challenging scan patterns. We thoroughly evaluate our approach on various datasets and compare our results against other state-of-the-art baselines for loop closure detection. We show here one such evaluation in the form of a precision recall curve, which shows the wide range of performance our pipeline can offer. As seen by the blue curve, we can achieve a very high precision of about 90% with our approach, only being bettered by scan context. However, we can also offer a much higher recall score without compromising too much on precision as compared to other baselines. When working with challenging datasets like the long highway sequence from Mulran dataset, 
with sparse features, we outperform any other baseline by a significant margin as seen here. This is mainly due to the accumulation of information that a local map representation provides us with. We also evaluate the effectiveness of detecting loop closures at a local map level by performing a postgraph optimization after incorporating the loop closures detected by our approach. Even though we obtain less number of loop closures constraints due to using local maps instead of individual scans, they are sufficient to optimize the trajectory and correct the global drift. This drift correction can be visibly noted here for the Mulran dataset long highway sequence, which was drifting over three kilometers based on just lidar odometry estimates. To summarize our contribution, we propose a novel loop closure detection pipeline that can effectively detect loop closures between local maps obtained from locally consistent odometry estimates. The local map representation allows our pipeline to generalize well to different LIDAR scan patterns, field of use, and density. Furthermore, our approach is completely online and does not require any offline training step. Also, we achieve better performance on multiple data sets from different scenarios as compared to other baselines and provide quantitative results to support the claim. To know more details about this work, you can read our paper by scanning the QR code above. We also invite you to try out our pipeline, which we open source on GitHub, linked under the QR code below. Thank you very much for your attention.